Somebody showed me something that a prophet stood up. Instead of preaching Jesus, he came and wrote a treatise about me. When they showed me, I said, ah, my impact, I've read these corridors too. I didn't know, thank God. I thought we were still laboring in, in West Africa. I don't know that we are creating enough wave already in South Africa that a prophet will be so troubled that he will sit down and type two pages and write about me. Ah, I thank God. I didn't know. He reminded me that I'm, the, you know, the Bible said his fame went abroad. Meanwhile, what he's doing that he doesn't know is that the people in his pool that didn't know me, he just introduced me to them. And when they come to check this fake man of God, they will now go on three days fasting. When they come to check this fake man of God, the burden of prayer will now fall on them. When they finish praying, they will discover he's the fake. You don't talk, just keep quiet. And allow the devil to give you cheap publicity. If you don't have the right mentality, you see such things, you now go, you want to do a rebuter. And you too will start writing to counter all the points he raised. I don't have that time. I have five million souls to win. And if you are winning five million souls in 24 months, did you hear the analysis? We are supposed to win 6,008 souls per day. That means we must walk around the clock. We are supposed to win at least 48,500 souls per month. We are supposed to win 2.5 million souls per year. You think I have time to respond to a prophet? <laughs> if you like, say anything you want to say. This man is focused. Write my name, put it on TBN. There's no energy for that. There's too much work to do. Focus is not just looking in one direction. It's to live your life by programs, by principles and by laws. That even when you want to turn, it becomes difficult to turn. You are bound, going only in one direction. The crisis you are going through is a sign of your rank in the spirit. It's a sign. If a state is fighting you, it means you have become a state prophet. If a nation is fighting you, it means you have become a national prophet. Go and find out. Nobody is fighting a prophet in the bush that nobody knows. This is what the fathers know. That's why people will come online and two million people are saying fake. They keep quiet. It means their, their rate have increased. For somebody to take his time, take his data, stay online and write, and is pushing campaigns on calumny to vindicate, to, 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 to. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, hey, hey. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, you that was employed four years ago you greet your boss he won't even answer because he didn't notice you are there you will come to work and sit where the typewriter is the evening now your boss is fighting you and you are crying why are you crying you don't know you have been promoted. Four years ago, if they call your name, your boss will say, who is that? Now you have become so conspicuous that your boss is fighting you. You know what it means? You have entered this realm. You have entered this realm. You have entered this authority level. You have become a threat to him. When you were sitting at the typewriter, who told you he has your time? Warfares are not to break us. They are to awaken us to new dimensions. And so depending on the battle you go through is the size of your authority in the spirit. If battles come to you, know that you are God's man. The devil will not fight God's enemies. The devil will fight men who are precious to God because he thinks when he hurts them, he hurts God. And so if you are going through warfare here tonight, congratulations. Will you be delivered out of it? Yes. But the warfare is a sign. That you are not where you used to be. Because where you used to be, such people don't face such battles. You have come to another location in the spirit. That's why those battles are coming to you. And so when you find warfare, don't be broken. Wake up and say thank you Lord for new levels. And then you contend and you cover more grounds. And then you move forward. Praise God. Praise God. So God's men, they have what? The word of the Lord with them. God's men, they have what? Signs and wonders following them. And finally, God's men, they have warfares, battles, and afflictions following them. Paul, the Bible said, the messenger of Satan buffeted him. 
He cried to God, deliver me from this. He said, my grace is sufficient for you. It's because of the assignment you have been introduced into. When you were killing the church, the messenger of Satan didn't come. Now that you have become my precious apostle, the messenger of Satan has come. It's a sign that you have been promoted. And so I tell you many times, the platform for your manifestation is not a pulpit. It's the challenges you overcome. Hope you know you will not be quoting Benson in the Dahosa if he didn't raise the dead. And if he failed in raising the dead, his ministry would have remained stunted. Many people sang his name because of the crisis he overcame. And so when crisis come to you, tell the devil, throw your best shot. This man will not go down. I am planted upon the rock. Are you God's man? Are you God's man? Do you have the word of the Lord with you? If you don't have the word of the Lord, that means you have to go and search. You have to go and press and get one. Are you God's man? Are signs and wonders following you? If there are no signs following you, it means you have to spend some time in God's presence. Are you God's man? Has the devil taken notice of you? If he hasn't, then you have to make some noise in the spirit. <laughs> You have to make some noise. Hey, devil, throw your best shot. I have come to change things. That's how we conquer. That's how we conquer. Demons know men. Make no mistakes about it. They say, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Who are thou? I don't know you. I don't fight everybody. What, what, what are you doing here? We are looking for the likes of Paul. You are here shouting. Come on, get up. If we have your time. Even the devil doesn't waste his resources. And you, the devil, mobilize 100 people. They are fighting you. That means the destiny of 100 men is shut down for you. It means if you are not worth anything, you are worth 100 men. Did you not read about Paul? He said 40 men swore that they will not taste water until they keep Paul. That was his first battle. That was his first authority level. A point came, Paul began to address the body of Christ. Because he had grown. Battles are not meant to destroy you. They are meant to make you stronger. And so if a demon is haunting you, know that there is something about you that God probably has told him. Because like you have heard, sometimes it's God that announces you. And you are not yet aware of it. And then you tell God, what is it that you have planted here? If the devil has come, then I must manifest. For Jesus, he came when he was eight days old. You, you are 30 years before the devil started fighting you. And you are shouting everywhere. You are late. Praise God.